Dear congregation, today, we gather to explore the importance of finding a group or tribe in our journey of faith. Just as God designed us for relationship with Him, He also created us for community with one another. Let us delve into God's Word and discover the blessings and benefits of belonging to a group of like-minded believers. Biblical Foundation, Ecclesiastes 4, 9, 12. Two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up. But pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up. Also, if two lie down together, they will keep warm. But how can one keep warm alone? Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. God created us for fellowship and community. In Ecclesiastes, we see the wisdom of having companionship and support in our lives. Belonging to a group provides strength, encouragement, and protection in times of need. Just as a cord of three strands is stronger than one, so too are we stronger together in Christ. The power of unity, Psalm 133, 1. How good and pleasant it is when God's people live together in unity. Unity among believers is a testament to the transformative power of God's love. When we come together in fellowship, we experience the goodness and pleasantness of unity. As a community of faith, we reflect God's love to the world and become a beacon of hope and encouragement to those around us. Mutual support and encouragement. Hebrews 10, 24, 25. And let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds, not giving up meeting together, as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day approaching. Belonging to a group allows us to spur one another on toward love and good deeds. Through regular fellowship and interaction, we can encourage and support each other in our walk of faith. As we gather together, we strengthen our resolve to live out God's calling in our lives and to be a light in the world. Finding Spiritual Nourishment Colossians 3.16 Let the message of Christ dwell among you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom through psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit, singing to God with gratitude in your hearts. In a community of believers, we find spiritual nourishment and growth. Through teaching, admonition, and worship, we are edified and equipped to live out our faith boldly. As we share in the Word of God and worship together, our hearts are filled with gratitude and praise, and we are strengthened for the journey ahead. Accountability and Discipleship, Proverbs 27, 17. As iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. Belonging to a group provides accountability and discipleship opportunities. Just as iron sharpens iron, so too do fellow believers sharpen and challenge us to grow in our faith. In a community of accountability, we are encouraged to pursue holiness and righteousness, spurring each other on towards spiritual maturity. Welcoming the Outsider, Romans 15, 7. Accept one another then, just as Christ accepted you in order to bring praise to God. Our group or tribe should be a welcoming place for outsiders and newcomers. As Christ accepted us, we are called to accept one another, regardless of background or status. In embracing diversity and inclusivity, we reflect God's heart for all people and create a space where everyone feels valued and loved. Dear friends, as we reflect on the importance of finding our tribe in Christ, may we be encouraged to seek out authentic community and fellowship. In belonging to a group of believers, we experience the power of unity, mutual support, spiritual nourishment, accountability, and inclusivity. Let us cherish and cultivate these relationships, knowing that God has designed us to thrive in community. As we journey together in faith, may we bring glory and honor to our Heavenly Father, who unites us in His love. Amen.